Thanks. This is going to look wonderful. I know. We have two more meetings about other installations this week. I know. I think your cousin has everything set here, right? Right. And you have everything set. Everything except a date for the weekend. Do you have someone in mind? An up-and-coming artist? A total romantic? With beautiful eyes. He'll look right into your soul, Ellen. Get yourself <laughs> another agent. A dating one. I have. I got the invite. That invite. The one in the black envelope that nobody's talking about, but everybody is talking about. Eternity. How did you- Somebody nominated me. What do you mean? Once you get your match with Eternity, which you will, because they have a 100% match rate, you get to nominate one single person onto their roster. Did one of your clients nominate you? I am not allowed to ask, and they are not going to tell me, but I am happy to follow all of their rules now that I am in. All what rules? You only get asked once to join. If you say you need to think about it or you'll call them back, you're out forever. If you ask to join them, you're out. Forever? Your date with Eternity is a blind date because Eternity knows what you want and what you don't. So you have to stay at least 30 minutes. Leave early and you're out forever. Once you do get a match and you nominate somebody onto their roster, you have to keep it a secret forever. That's a lot of forevers. I am really hoping so. Speaking of, where's Johnny taking you this weekend? San Fran? Honolulu? Paris? Nowhere. His parents are coming to town. Plus, I'm busy with work, which I have you to thank for, Ellen. You're in high demand. In fact, I have another meeting right now at the hotel across the road. But I want an update the minute they call. You did tell Eternity you want a handsome, laid-back artist, right? And that you're a hopeless romantic? Of course. <laughs> Atta girl. You're avoiding the topic, so either you've done nothing, likely, or you're gonna surprise me. Unlikely. Come on, Diane, you don't do guessing and I don't do surprises. You got a date to bring to my party. Actually, yes, I have someone in mind. She's average height, blonde, wears plastic gloves, and drops a yellow card. Cindy would not be interested in someone who makes so little effort. All my effort goes into running Dad's firm, not my dating life. That's exactly where you're going wrong. You won't find someone who's right for you with that attitude. I really don't think my attitude is the problem. I could find someone if I wanted to. There's just no point. What's this? Excuse me. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe this smaller piece kind of up in that corner there. over here. Oh, it's here. We were wondering when it would go up and what it would be. We are just finalizing the layout. Oh, you think in the center wall? For the big piece, yeah. Nice. What is that? <sighs> go easy on her. Do you want the uh, micro or macro explanation? You know what? I'll start with the basics. It's art. Maybe this art belongs in a gallery. I thought you were gonna be one of those classic art snobs. Thank you. I am, that wasn't a compliment. Why don't you just ask me if it's upside down and be on your way? Our family's been coming here for decades. We own the building. I'm CEO of my family's corporate law firm on the top two floors. Surely I'm entitled to an opinion. Only if it's valid. Rude. Okay, so if that one's... whatever you like. I should be the one cooking. I mean, you're already doing so much for me. Oh no, you saved me for my spreadsheets and maxi calculator. <laughs> and I love seeing your work on display. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. You said no dating and you're sticking to it. 
You were right. I needed a little self-focus. Hello? It's Trinity. Um, tonight? You only get one chance. Go. Yes, I can be there. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. I'm so jealous. When my dating band's over, I won't have anyone like Eternity to help me find the one. I will help you. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> you won't think anyone's good enough. Listen, if anyone wants to take out my little cousin, they're going to have to be more than perfect. Oh, you sound like my dad. I wish my dad was here. He'd want to drive you to your date, to get a quick look at the guy, and then insist on picking you up to ask a million questions. Oh, and my mom would be like, honey, it's no big deal. Just follow your heart. <laughs> Didn't they meet on a blind date too? Yes but my dad said they would have met no matter what, no matter when they were meant to be. Such an awesome couple. They were partners in crime. I just want exactly what they had. I mean, surely that's not too much to ask for. You will have that. This is going to be your meant to be. I have trusted eternity to find someone I can trust with my heart, but Really, what are the odds? I mean, maybe I'm just not meant to find a love like that. Just because bad luck hit hard before doesn't mean it's going to keep happening. You are not going to be Eternity's first fail. <laughs> Good evening. What's your name? I'm actually here with Eternity. Eternity? Oh. Well, <laughs> follow me. This way. Hi. Oh. Peace. You're welcome. <sighs> Sorry, wrong table. Uh, I, well, I, uh... Compliments of eternity. Enjoy. But, no. <laughs> So, maybe this isn't what either of us expected, but let's just start over from the beginning, before this morning. <laughs> yeah, this, <clears throat> not a good fit. But wait, you have to stay at least 30 minutes. It's the rules, or don't you play by the rules. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can I just get one of these, please? It's been a long day. No lunch. Uh, um, usually the lady orders first. I don't think this gentleman is much of a gentleman. And to be honest, I don't really have the appetite for anything. Thank you, though. Very well. Well, I've had better half hours in court. I'm a lawyer, corporate, joint CEO of Williams & Williams. Yes, you said that earlier at the Birchwood. I paid attention, noticed the suit you were wearing too. Didn't think to change for our date. Well, I've had no complaints about my wardrobe on previous dates. And what were the complaints? And actually, I'm not surprised that you noticed the tailoring. I like to make a good impression on my clients. And no one else, apparently. I'm focused on my work, are you? 
Where's your job? Do Just... not say copy. That is a cliche that is beneath even you. My work takes plenty of focus. It's just not focused on outdated practices and senseless arguing. My work makes people feel something. Most people. Oh, I felt something at Birchwood. Claustrophobic? Going to the same place for decades? That must be stifling. May I recommend broadening your horizons, trying something new, like the Innisbrook Resort. I love the Innisbrook Resort. My parents got married there. So did my sister. I just don't understand how I ended up with someone so... routine. It's just not at all what I asked for. What did you ask for? Are you romantic? Isn't everyone. Are you straightforward? What do you mean by that? Let's just say no. Your turn. Are you laid back? You mean lazy. French or Italian? Food, city, people, art. Who's your favorite artist? Springsteen. Did you give any consideration to your eternity interviews at all? Do you understand what getting this invitation means, what they're promising? They're promising true love, which I can confirm still doesn't exist. And I'll be reaching out to them about wasting my time. Cancel that order. About wasting our time? Everything. Who is Mr. Wright? Is he a famous artist? Do we know him? I am Eternity's first fail. The lawyer from the Birchwood was my date. The what is that guy? I am off to tell Eternity that their 100% match rate is a lie. Morning. Hi. This looks very different than it did when I came in for interviews. I wouldn't know. I did everything for my office. Paid for the membership in full. Really overpriced, if you ask me. Got verified the same day. I guess my reputation precedes me. Well, their 24-hour concierge service just goes straight to voicemail, so... That's why I'm here, too. Hello? Can I help? Hi, I'm Will Williams of Williams & Williams. I'd like to speak to a manager. I'm sorry, we'd like to speak to a manager, but separately, please. There is no manager. There's nobody here. So Isn't who this are you? an office? I hire staging furniture to help lease the space. Someone just signed a new contract, but it's been without a tenant for months. There's no business here. We've been, We've been conned. conned. Johnny's planning a special dinner for our one-month anniversary, and he told me to take a look at this. But I don't know, it's not really me. Hi. I'm Diane Williams from Williams & Williams upstairs. Uh, this is my mother, Barb, and this is Dash. <laughs> I, I just want to apologize to my brother yesterday. Will is overly attached to this place. Nice to meet you. And don't worry, it's a reactionary piece, so... We're off to a good start. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that picture. Oh. Ellen will be pleased. She has one fan. <laughs> Two. Would you like me to show you? <laughs> Was nice meeting. Nice to meet you. Are you going on this dinner cruise? Well, um... Uh, it's so romantic. My husband and I got engaged on this boat. You'll love the cruise. Mom, I'm, I'm taking a seat. I mean, how can eternity not be real? Everyone is talking about them. They are elusive and exclusive. That's the whole marketing and the appeal. I bet you it's all PR because I don't know a single person who's with them. But who would get fake eternity to trick me? Take a wild guess. 
Who knows that you're looking for a date? Love. I am looking for love. Right. And literally everyone knows. Maybe someone with a grudge? Maybe someone you've antagonized recently? I can't think of anyone. You? Possibly maybe somebody that we won big against. Plenty of those. You know, a receptionist handed me the envelope. A courier came to my studio, but my address isn't even listed. Are you sure it wasn't somebody who just doesn't like abstract art or maybe a disgruntled ex-boyfriend? Disgruntled. Why are you following me? <laughs> I'm not following you. I'm heading to Birchwood to help make arrangements for my sister's wedding anniversary party. Why are you following me? We don't have to speak again, but I will be pursuing this and taking action against whoever is behind eternity. Why? Because it's unfair. They're pretending to match people, and it's nothing but a cruel con. No. I mean, why are you trying to pursue this? You're an abstract artist. I thought you even read the T's and C's. I will do whatever I can for people like me who are just trying to find true love. You're trying to find true love. <laughs> Look at the end of a rainbow. Ellen, Ellen, wait, hold on. I, I didn't mean you specifically. It's this whole true love thing, okay? And for me, you know, the dating part, that's not important, but the con is, they've broken a long list of laws. So just let me handle this. Is there a problem still? Is the art just not your thing? Eternity is a con. We've been conned, both of us. What? How? I don't know. I'm going home to look into it. Well, he's a... Lawyer, right? It's Will. My name is Will. Right, so you and Will can work together to resolve whatever it is? No, no thank you. I don't need a sidekick. Oh, can't work with the creative? Couldn't keep up? I've worked with some of the most difficult CEOs from all over the world. I would not be the sidekick. Okay. I'll keep you informed, Ellen. What? Exactly what's going on with Eternity? There's two different brushes for each of these. And there's no... It's fake. Whoever nominated me is either in on it or they've been conned too. What's going on? Who's the boy? He's with Diane, her son, I guess. She's the sister of you know who? Huh. Mm. Are you an art fan? It's my favorite subject at school, and math. That's a really good mix of the smart and creative stuff. Did you make this? I did. I'm Ellen. This is Dash, my grandson. Pleased to meet you, Dash. Pleased to meet you, Ellen. <laughs> Again, straight to voicemail. I'm sorry, I have to go. I have to check on something. I need your help persuading mom. We don't need to sit boy go boy and give everybody dance cards. Diana, it's important. I promise. I'm sorry, buddy, I gotta take off. All right, something's come up. Okay. Soccer later? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Yeah? You sound just like your father. Always something to do. Mom. Dash thinks you're up to something sneaky. Would it be a plus one plan? What's a plus one? I'm gonna let you handle that one, Mom. Oh. Now that Ellen's gone... What happened? Eternity is a scam. It's a catfish agency. Ellen's been gone. Oh, we have to go get her. No! I'm the one that told Eternity to embrace Ellen. You and Johnny were matched by them? Yes. And then I passed the mantle on to Ellen. But I didn't tell her I couldn't. It's one of their rules. But if you and Johnny were matched by Eternity, then Ellen must have made a mistake. Your relationship is real. Help you? 
Angela, your agent, she gave me your contact information. I just wanted to keep you updated about the progress I'm making regarding our legal matter. I mean, couldn't this have just been a phone call? There's really no need to make the effort to come all of this way. You made it pretty clear you did not want my help. I wanted to show you this. She once introduced herself to me as Kat. She doesn't work in my building anymore. Nobody seems to know who she is, do you? She gave me my envelope. Interesting. I also reached out to the staging company. That guy that we met outside the empty office. They gave me a very promising address to follow up on. Isn't this a bit beneath you? You have nothing better to do with your Saturday? I have plenty to do, thank you very much. But I don't stop seeking justice because I changed out of a suit. I never give up. Well, I found out some stuff too. I guess I'll let myself in. Well, it's a bit more creative than your stack of papers. There's a lot of guesswork involved, but there is nothing factual on eternity anywhere. Right. <clears throat> well, I had two assistants helping me. We only found one address. Looks like you really didn't have much going on today either. I trusted them. It's important to me to try to stop them however I can. Even if I am just an abstract artist. <laughs> oh, Riles Realty. That's where I'm going to now. Great. I'll get changed. You can wait for me outside. I don't think that's a good idea. Idea. Okay. Like that office that you went to three times, so they have no paper trail of registration, business ID, insurance, or contracts. Uh, they've pretty much revealed themselves as a front, but even fronts need help. But why were you using Eternity to find a date if you were already dating? So I'm on a deadline for my family event, and nobody's been up to par. For you or for your family? Okay, my mother is very traditional. She wants someone on my arm. Diane, she just doesn't like odd numbers. I I don't really know, but they've given me an unnamed plus one. That's surprising. Diane didn't seem to be all about the symmetry. She really had an eye for the abstract. I've got no idea why she wants me to be with someone so badly, but she does. What about you? Any pressure from family? I, um, no, I... Here, let me help. It's fine. What's the emergency? It's nothing serious. That's not what you said on the phone. I might be overreacting, but after our chat about eternity, I got to wondering, what if Johnny is some kind of con man too? I haven't seen him in person since last weekend, and he's not answering my calls. Maybe he's busy. Yes, with work in the city yesterday. And today, he's playing tennis, like he does every Saturday. Doubles. Court B. Would you like me to go to the tennis club and check on him? Oh, what a good idea. I'll wait here. It's not here. There's no real estate agent. There could be an entrance around the back. Are you calling them? No, my assistant. At least we can get a coffee while your assistant figures out where it is. Could we go someplace with tablecloths? You've never been to Mickey's Cafe? No. Have you ever been to any health food cafe? No. You're a weird guy. I'm just gonna order for you. Coffee. Black. The office is registered on this block, but no. Let's figure out what we are going to say when we do find them. I thought I'd do the talking. Right. Go with legal matter, show them my card. What were you thinking? How did you get into lawyering? I mean, what kid looks at endless paperwork and meetings on meetings and thinks, ah, oh, that would be a good job? I come from a long line of lawyers and my whole family tree all the way back up to the founders of the city. 
And running my father's firm was the dream when I was a kid. You always know you wanted to be an artist? Yes. But I was the only creative in my family. It came as a shock to everyone when I told them I intended to go to art school. So my parents put all of their energy into sending me to art school in Paris. And they never once stopped encouraging me to follow my heart, chase my passions. My father called it my artist's spontaneity. Artist spontaneity. That's them. Oh, get him. Excuse me. Yes? We We're here about what she means is that I'm Will Williams of Williams and Williams, lawyer. Not my lawyer, uh, but we are here on a legal matter. What? We need to discuss something illegal? No. No, we need to get information from this person. About a company that is breaking the law and breaking hearts. What I need is the direct contact information for the offices you rented at 50 Boulevard Street. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. Do you want me to cite the legal obligations we have to pull these details? Or we can just review the scant paperwork you seem to have misfiled about where your shoddy office really is, if it even exists. You got 30 minutes to give me that contact. We'll wait right here. Mickey's has good coffee. So, someone else was playing in his spot. But I just texted him how was tennis. He said, great. Everyone at the tennis club knew him as Johnny, so he's not conning you. Is he lying to me then? How did you know that the real estate agent was sketchy too? Because I had my office research them. So part of the plan to unravel these guys. Great. Planning. I don't just leap into things. I never do. I'm like some people. Have you ever just wanted to throw everything up in the air? That all changes good. That's the real estate agent. He's forwarding the address. There? I'll start researching first thing Monday morning. But no, I'm not free until Monday lunch. We will go together then. All right, go, go, go. Around the bend, down the center. Past the center line. Go, 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 and score! Oh, oh nice goal. Five more minutes and we've got to go. Do we have to go back to the hotel? Absolutely. I promised them that we would help with the party. Why do people have anniversary parties? Because it's an achievement. Something to celebrate. I told Grandma I can be your plus one. Did you now? But you said that a plus one is a wife or a girlfriend. Yes, yeah, it's a partner. I don't think I'll get married. I hope not. You're only eight years old. That would be odd. I meant when I'm older. I would rather play soccer. Me too, buddy. Me too. Now go ahead, pack this up. Let's go. How do you find these things? Hello? Oh, just leave it at the doorstep, please. Still no Johnny? Nothing. But last you heard, he was planning a one-month anniversary dinner for you. Maybe. This is just when you learn that Johnny is not a great communicator. Maybe I'm being haunted. You mean ghosted. I'm gonna have to extend my dating ban. I'd forgotten the stress. Who's who? Who's really who they say they are? I should take another six months out. I might join you. I'm certainly not dating anyone else until I have found eternity. They've still not gotten back to you? Maybe they're just super busy with other couples? Do we know anyone else who was matched by them? It's him! I'm so sorry, I'm at the office. It's an emergency. I'll call you later when I'm home. Oh, my love. See? Thank Nothing goodness. to worry about.
Ellen, I have an online class in an hour, so let's do what we can do. You know, I've never really paid much attention to the architecture in here, but it's stunning. Did your dad help design it? He laid the first brick. It's quite the legacy, the building and the law firm. Yeah, he really wanted something to keep in the family. Is Diane's son meant to take it on next? Diane's son? Hate to break it to her, but uh, math and art don't exactly add up to lawyering. Okay, actually, so I don't, I'm not familiar with who's renting the rooms anymore. Uh, usually it's just been either tech or finance, but as soon as we find out who's conning us, we're gonna kick him out of the building. So this is what I found in my research, Butler and Company. It's in the west side, which is where it's supposed to be. However, the number is wrong. Okay, well, let's just go up and see. Not so fast. 67 West is what it's supposed to be, but the name is different. This is O'Hara. Right. So which one is it? Well, let's just go up and check. Slow down. We should focus, make a plan so we're not wasting time. Debating about wasting time is wasting time. Why don't we just ask him exactly where it is? Excuse me. We're looking for Butler and Company. It's number 67 West, but we don't have a floor number. Uh, try floors one and 20. Really? And every floor in between. Every floor? Yeah. This way, Ellen. What are we supposed to do? Check every single door? We can knock and ask. Or you could just go talk to your doorman friend again. Just because he didn't know doesn't mean something else won't. Things don't always have to follow a repeated pattern. Nothing's limited by what has happened before. Are you talking about abstract art again? Because if you are, you're gonna lose me. Is that all part of your plan? I don't have a plan. Planning is not something I find appealing. If we're going to work together on this, that is something you're going to have to compromise on. If that is one of your skills as a lawyer, right? Compromise. That's it. It's a match. No way. No, 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 no. I appreciate that you're impetuous, but that's trespassing and invasion of privacy. We're not doing that. Impetuous is just a snobby word for impulsive. No, no. Can I help you guys find something? Can I help you find something? My family owns the building. Um, the address. Could you check that again? Come with me. The guy you're looking for wears a fedora. And he always sits at this bench. How do we know he'll be here? Routine. He doesn't change a thing. I do not feel like this investigation is headed in the right direction. Well, at least it is headed in a direction. I will admit, maybe asking the doorman wasn't the best plan. But we didn't have a plan, remember? Let's make one now. <laughs> what, a plan? Oh, you're being serious. I just assumed you'd be a tougher negotiator. Well, then you're confused about how compromise works. Why don't we start by being a little less impulsive? How about you start by being a little less stubborn? You know, stubbornness isn't always a flaw. In fact, I put it down as a positive character trait in my eternity interview. Me too. What else did you say? I said that I was looking for an ambitious businesswoman, successful who knows what she wants. But not someone who'd push me out of my comfort zone, somebody who would accept that I'm happy the way that I am. Well, since I've known you, you have gone to a health food cafe and you drank charcoal coffee. Please don't remind me I still have the taste of my mouth. 
You only know you don't like it because you took a risk. Birchwood would never put that on their menu. You don't know that. They changed the art. Maybe you'll learn to like it. Maybe you'll learn to do something different. Maybe you'll try to do something a little less abstract. <sighs> where, where would your laid back artist type get his coffee? Probably a long list of cafes that I would probably like. You know what it takes for a long list? It takes organization, research, strategy. Sounds like a planner. Well, he would have to be in order to balance me out, but he would have to match me in ambition. Are they looking at us? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm in a suit. We're not here. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I. Um. So left. I have two left feet. Me too. You have to let me lead. I thought you were. How can you think you're letting me lead? I can feel the pressure. Just let me lead. It's my left foot. Left foot goes first? No, yeah, I know. No. No. Is everything okay? I'm fine. Everything's okay. I just, where's Mr. Butler? Did we already miss him? No, he never showed. I'm gonna talk to the doorman. So what happened? Where's the guy in the fedora? He never showed up. You said he was gonna be here. I don't know, but you guys should definitely come back tomorrow at lunch and work on your cha-cha-cha. Uh, I don't think so. No, we're not dancers. All right, I'm gonna get some cake. It's okay. All of this is okay. It's fine. We're gonna talk to the real estate agent tomorrow. I'm sure they're withholding information from us. I hope so. I mean, we've got nothing to lose. My entire afternoon is gone, and I can't be late tonight. Tonight? Do you have a date? I wasn't gonna start dating until we found eternity. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Ellen. I want cake. What's all this? Pencils and charcoal? What's got into you? Just trying something outside my comfort zone. You know, I'm not sure what this is going to be yet. I just need to prove a point to Will. I mean, it's time I try something new again. Put my money where my mouth is. some sort of compromise to be found. Compromise? I thought you'd tell me to run toward it and see what happens or run far, far away. What's wrong with a traditional date? Nothing. If you like tradition, but I don't. We don't actually know what Johnny is up to. We have no facts, right? You have met the love of your life. And you are terrified that things aren't going to work out right. I would be exactly the same way. Am I subconsciously self-sabotaging this? What should I do? We could set aside everything you think might happen and actually see what Johnny has or hasn't planned. We could make a plan. A plan? Are you okay, Ellen? You should see what she's doing in the studio. What? Nothing. Yet. What do you think? Hmm. Do they have pizza? No. No, we're trying something new. But what if I don't like it? Then I'll eat it. 
What are you gonna get? That. What is it? I don't know. Maybe I should have the same thing as you. Or Auntie Diane. Das, pick whatever you want. Go on. Take a risk. What's the inspiration? We have great interest in your abstracts. I just needed to try something new. Is this anything to do with Will's critique? I didn't realize Will's what is that made such an impact. Or did he say something else? We spent the afternoon together. Looking for a contact for eternity. We did not talk about art. What did you talk about? Nothing much. And then he went on a date. What happened at lunch? You came back with your suit creased, your tie loose? Well, firstly, I spent my lunch dancing with Ruby. 65 years young. The merengue, or cha-cha-cha, apparently. Well, Ruby must be very special to get you on the dance floor. Maybe she's free for the party. Why do you keep pushing for me to bring someone that's not right for me? Nobody is going to be right for you until you let yourself move on. You are allowed to. Hey, buddy. What'd you pick? I think I'll try the vegan pie. I've got on my glasses vegan. Well, if you like it, I'll get you some vegan food for my party. But don't tell Granny. She's gonna act like she doesn't know what it is. If you still don't have a grill to take, there's room on the kids' table. I saw it at the hotel. No offense, but I think I'm gonna be Granny's plus one, so I can sit with the adults. Hey, why don't you bring this girl, the vegan girl? She could be your plus one. Not if you're on your own. I have two meetings after lunch, then I'm free if you need any help. I might have spreadsheet blindness by then. I am meeting Angela about the new hotel commission. I wonder if she's heard anything more from Johnny. I really hope she got all of that wrong. Or he's got it all right. Either way, we will be there to pick up the pieces. You're such a good friend to her. And to me. Friend? You are the big sister I never had. That's more like it. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Thanks. He's really caught in the moment, not worried about past or future. It's really helped me to realize that I need to be more in the here and now. Stop worrying so much about where the wind is going to take me next. It's so different for you. Mom and Dad would be furious that I've been sitting around and waiting for the right thing instead of trying to tap into something different. I can't keep using them as an excuse. You've just been protecting yourself. I've been pretending and not trusting in me. And that is no way to live and it is no way to work. All of my best work always came from my heart. And your best advice. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, hey, buddy. Miss Diane. She's on her way, and she said don't do anything until she arrives. Hmm. Now, do you have a plus one? Yes. And she's the most beautiful woman in the world. You. Oh, it's very sweet, William. I'm sure your father would approve. Look, you're not cramping my style, especially on the dance floor. You're appalling. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Do you have anybody to bring? Gosh, the hard part is finding someone who's right for me and right for my family. I can help. It's a little late for that. The party's real soon. You need to get a real girlfriend, not just somebody for this party. Did you talk to your vegan friend at school today? Dash, now I know something's going on in my office now. What's her name? Sophia. She likes soccer. She likes soccer, does she? She sounds great. I might ask her if I could sit next to her, but what if she says no? Why would she say no? Because some things in life don't happen the way you want. Sometimes. But sometimes they do.
How nice. <laughs> oh, the installation's gonna be right through here. Great, and what time is that? Thank you. Is that Johnny? The dinner cruise. They told me Johnny's got a VIP table and he's showing up early to set up red roses. <sighs> Yellow dahlias are my favorite. I have to call him. I'll catch you up. Sorry. Oh, that's gonna be prime real estate. That's a great spot. I want a different table. I don't want to get pulled up on the dance floor by any girls. Okay, we are gonna make sure that you're gonna be safe. Hello. Hi. Hello, Ellen. Hey, Dash. Are you coming to the party? No, I'm here to make smart for this hotel. Now? Hey, Dash, I'm sure she's busy. Let's let Ellen get back to work. Come on. No, it's all right. I've always got time for an art van. No, I'm not gonna make any art right now. What I'm gonna do is take a bunch of pictures and then I'm gonna make sketches and then I'll go back to my studio and do some experimenting. Yeah, I'm sure just whatever comes to mind. Yes. I'm gonna do some drawing, I'm gonna do some painting, I'll probably get really messy. Sometimes when I make things, at the end I don't like them. That's okay, that happens to all of us. It happens to me, it happens to my cousin Chloe when she's trying out new recipes. But that's okay, because being creative and trying new things is half the fun. Hey, you know what buddy? Determination and hard work, that's what it's about. My grandpa always said never give up on anything. Well, hello, what brings you here? We're planning Diane's 10th anniversary party. The entire family is coming from all over. Yes, Will told me. I'm here working on an installation for the hotel. It wasn't you who recommended me, Will? <laughs> no. Well, I can't wait to see your design. Dash and I are big fans. Yeah, maybe move away from the abstract. Something with heart. I'm gonna go take some more photos. You guys have a great day. Call me back, please. Do you have everything? Do you need anything else? No, I've got this covered. How about you go take a minute for you? Go to the park. You know me so well. But we should know. I'm just gonna snap a few more photos and then I'm out of here. Thank you. Will? Please leave a message. It's... Cat? Yeah, I got your message. Are you sure that's her? Yes, I never forget a face. What if she sees us? Well, make sure she doesn't. side exit? I don't think so. I'm gonna ask him. Hang on. Are there any other exits, side exits, anything like that other than the front door? No, the only way in her house is the front door. side exits. I'm sorry for pulling you away from your family stuff. I just, I thought we could follow Kat back to the headquarters. Bust the whole gone. Well, I really don't think eternity is based out of here. <laughs> but we can wait. I mean, what is she doing? Maybe she's keen on mid-century impressionism or the neoclassics. What piece would you take if you could walk out of here for free? 
No crime committed. That square one over there. A Monet? Really? Is that what it is? It would just match the blinds in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? It would be impossible to choose. That's why I became an artist. So I could make more art that people wanted to see. Seems like you're pretty successful at it. Thanks. I never take it for granted. Art is always on the move. Yes, it is. My job, it's, it's pretty static. It's more about precedent than change. Well, someone has to set a precedent, right? In order for there to be a change. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think I could handle the kind of rejections you must get. <laughs> well, I did try to make it sound pretty effortless to Dash, but in reality, it is a lot of technique. Plenty of trial and error, and I also put a lot of myself into my work. And that can be risky, especially if a client does not like it. Or there's an idiot nearby who doesn't think before he speaks. I'm sorry for what I said at the hotel about your next piece coming from the heart. That was really rude of me. Well, what I haven't told you and I did not mention to Eternity is that I lost my parents just a little over a year ago. And I've kind of been hiding behind abstract art ever since. Ellen, I'm, I'm really sorry. My parents were my idols. They were so supportive of me throughout everything. They sound great. They were great. And a great couple, a perfect match. I just want to find something that's close to what they had. And if, if I don't, I feel like I would somehow be letting them down. I think it's okay. I think anybody would feel that way. I lost more than just my parents that day. I feel like I lost my ability to really open up my heart and trust in my emotions. I put myself behind this barrier and I stopped putting any real feeling into my work, as you noticed. I don't know. You seem pretty good at trusting your emotions to me. Well, maybe we should just let this go. I mean, you could be with your family right now, helping plan the party. I feel like that's more important. No, Ellen, this is important. It is. I mean, Kat, she's probably already slipped out a fire exit, donned some sort of elaborate disguise, and melted into the crowd. <laughs> Eternity is very good at covering their tracks. I'm not giving up. We aren't giving up. That's her. It's her. Wait, your purse. We're not gonna let this go. Maybe she has a date. Wouldn't that be ironic? You gonna wear this in court? Very funny. She's moving. Why don't you go ask her about our new dating service? If you're interested. Unless you already got one. Not yet. Oh, honey, wow, this would go so good with my eyes. This is actually really 
Lovely. Yeah, it is. She's leaving. Go. Ask him what she said, unless you had the same idea and you were gonna go ask him. No, that's great. I'll, I'll follow Kat. Use your serious lawyer face. What serious lawyer face? That one. Excuse me. You were just speaking with a woman in a black dress. She was talking to you. What did she say? She was asking you quite it looked like she asked you a question. Hey! Ugh. I just had an emergency. No, wait, excuse me. What was that? I don't know. He didn't say. You just said he had an emergency. He threw these in my hand. <sighs> uh, I'm feeling he's not coming back. Mm, definitely not. All right, well, I'm letting these go. You know, we can give them away. Why? What for? For fun. Come on. Johnny, we need to talk. The looks on their face. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, thank you for today. What are you thanking me for? I don't know, but I had a great time. Here, one last balloon for you. Keep it. Give it to Dash. <laughs> look, look! Is that your agent? Yes! And that is definitely not what we were worried about. This is perfect. I think I'm gonna give up planning completely, entirely. I've done things today that I would have <laughs> never done before. And the sky didn't fall in? Not that I noticed. <laughs> Will I see you tomorrow? We can regroup, you know, think about our next steps with eternity, if you'd like. Yes, actually, I, I'm gonna be at the Birchwood finishing up. I should be done just before they start their lunch service. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Of course, I'll be there. <laughs> For lunch, because I'm I'm a creature of habit. Right. Okay. okay. Um I uh sorry. I'm, I'm that that one. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I'm all finished. Excellent. I've had lots more inquiries about you. That's great, but I want to know how it went with Johnny. Is it over? <laughs> oh, it was perfect. Since 
sunset in the park and a picnic. And he introduced me to his parents on that boat. His father had always wanted to go. And the roses were a gift to his mother. Oh, they kept calling me Johnny's fiance all night. <laughs> I want to hear everything. Come to lunch with me. I'm headed back over to the Terrace Hotel. Were you not inspired after I left? Sh should I be worried? Oh, no, no. Everything is totally fine. I just left straight after you. With Will. Tell me more. It's just business. Court overrun? Or did you forget our lunch? Oh, when have I forgotten anything? What's the hurry? I'll see you in there. Okay. Give me one of your fake yawns again. <sighs> oh, that ring. Mm. Did you just get engaged? <laughs> <laughs> Ellen. I got caught up, Court. I actually just finished. Finished? I'm sure it looks great. Thanks. Shall we go, Ellen? Wait, what if we... Met up later? Yes. Tonight? I can't. You got a date? Yes. With, with Dash. I promised him that I would take him out to pizza after he did soccer with Diane. Hello. Well? Uh, would you and Dash want to come over to my place? And we could make pizza? We could talk about our next moves with Eternity. I I'll show Dash my art studio. Sounds like a great idea. How's seven? Perfect. All done. Set it in here. Stick that right in. Easy. Okay. Do you want me to show you again? I'm nervous. What could go wrong? I could set the oven on fire. I could set the house on fire. I could set the studio on fire and ruin all of my work. I could make pizzas that Dash hates. I could make pizza that Will hates. I could make pizza that makes us all violently ill. Wow, you really brought along your self-saboteur. Why do I feel like this? Because it's a date and you know it. It is not a date. His nephew is coming. What if you're wrong? I could be wrong. I've not gone on a date for months and all of them were a disaster. I could have misinterpreted the facts. He's coming over for dinner because you asked him. Because he likes you. Or it's because we were working together. And there's the way he looks at you and the way you look at him. Okay, fine. So maybe there is a little something between Will and I. With all your artistic knowledge, you're just calling it something. Chloe, it's so different. He makes me feel so different. But can I trust him to be my partner in crime? He already is your partner in crime. You two are running around together spying on people. But can I trust him with my heart? I mean, what if he's not the one? What if he is? Good luck. I'll go through the pack. Hey, I, uh, I brought everything I have on Eternity. Plus some new information, research that my assistants did this afternoon. Did you forget Dash? No, Diane's bringing him in about half an hour. Just figured we could go over some files until he got here. Uh, great. Come on back. Wow, this is amazing. And is this a pizza oven? Dash has been after me for one of these for ages. It is my cousin's, but I have had a full safety briefing, so we should be... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, do you mind if I set this down over there? Of course. And you got every single topping. Yeah, I had you down as an anchovy guy, and uh, Dash is more of a pepperoni extra cheese. What made you think I was an anchovy guy? Enough said. <laughs> I didn't want to make a plan, though, so I just went ahead and got everything. Well, for the record, I'm not an anchovy guy. They're a bit spiky for me. But what's your go-to? 
Don't laugh at me. It's pineapple and ham. Oh. Oh, keep that to yourself. Yes, and I hate olives. What? I know. But but olives are delicious. Ugh. Mm. You hungry? Skip lunch again. Is it that obvious? How about you and I make a couple practice pizzas before Dash gets here? Sounds like a great plan. Where do we start? Do we roll them out, throw them in the air? What do we do? Let's start with the rolling up these sleeves. Touche. You can never know. About the pineapple and ham? That too. Dash, he has a really bad case of FOMO. He'd be upset if he found out I made pizza without him. I'm talking like eternal grudge. I will take the fall for this one. I was the same way when I was a kid. Dash definitely keeps us on our toes. <laughs> He's now vegan. Because there's a girl in his class that's vegan. Oh. Well, I do have vegan cheese and plenty of vegetables. No, no, no. He already said pizza doesn't count. Of course it doesn't. Kids are great. I hope I have a family of my own one day. Ellen, before Dash gets here. Is that the eternity date alarm? Good memory. <clears throat> I mean, how could I forget? It was the worst half hour of your life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was from the pizza. Careful, it's hot. Wow, mine actually looks like a pizza. <laughs> That's surprising. You know, mine was really more of an attempt to impress Dash, but I have to admit, yours is better. Well, and everything you do is impressive. And whatever you try, it always works out. Except pineapple on a pizza, that'll never work. I actually just finished a, a new piece of art. It's not for client, it's just art for art's sake. What is it? Just something that helped me open up. Helped me trust in being honest in my work again. So it's not abstract? I think it's better if I just show you. Dash? I hope you and Diane don't mind. He has such a sweet face. There's a real family resemblance between you two. You don't like it? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I absolutely love it. It's intrusive. I, I'm sorry. I just kept recalling the image and... It's okay. I know you said you never forget a face. That This is not intrusive. This is incredible. Thank you. Would you ever consider selling it? Uh, to me, I, I <laughs> could I could give it to Diane as an anniversary gift. Oh, yeah, of, of course. If you like it that much. Who wouldn't? Dash made it easy. Kids are great subjects. They are terrible at hiding how they feel. <laughs> He is totally lost in the moment. There's, there's something that I need to tell you. Um, I, I'll get the door. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll get the pizzas. Will is out back. Pizza oven is hot and ready. Pizza oven? Ooh. <laughs> it's great. Will's got time of work to spend with Dash. And you? Thanks for bringing me on, Dee. Have fun. Bye. Dad! 
Hey, buddy. How was soccer? Good. A pizza oven? So what's first, Ellen? What do we do? How about you run in and wash your hands first? Yeah, go inside. Buddy, wash your hands. I'll wait here. It's right through there. Just right around the corner. Dash is your son. Yes. You let me believe he was your nephew. I was gonna tell you. Really? After lying to me all of this time? I didn't, I didn't lie, exactly. You could have told me when I showed you the portrait. Or any time since we've met. This is the any time. Of course there's a family resemblance. This really wasn't my intention. What was? I just didn't think that I was gonna find someone for me, someone who'd need telling. It is obvious that you still haven't. I wanted to tell you. I really did. I just didn't want to get Dash involved in case it didn't work out. If you had been upfront about this, it could have worked out. I told you about my heartbreak with my parents and that I was so afraid that I wouldn't find what they had. I really thought you had been honest with me too. But this, this lie throws everything right back into my face. Technically, I didn't lie. Try harder, Will. Withholding the truth is the exact same thing. You're a lawyer. You know that. Change of plan, buddy. But I wanted pizza. Come on. Alita Pizza Plaza on the way home. But why? Because Ellen and I made a mistake about tonight. It's gonna be fun, buddy. Come on. Hey, guys. Hey. The tailor did a great job. They're gonna look so handsome. Can we go home so I can put it on? No, after we play in the park. Come on. How did last night go? Fine, nothing happened. We, we ate at Pizza Plaza. Why? Because it's consistent and reliable, Diane. That's not what I meant. Can you just go up ahead and play for a little bit? I'll be there in a minute. I made a mistake. I made a mistake with Ellen and Dash. How exactly? I didn't disclose that Dash was my son and she thought he was yours all along. And you let her? Yeah. She's gonna think you don't trust her with both your hearts. Please don't be disappointed in me, Diane. I'm doing plenty of that for myself. Double espresso for you, and in here there's emergency brownies, red velvet cake, and cookies. What happened? Is he secretly married? No. Maybe, no, no, it's Dash. He is Dash's dad. Did he tell you last night? He didn't. Dash did. He got a kid to break the news to you? Not really. Well, that was pretty idiotic of Will. But you love kids, and Dash is a good one. Will has had so many opportunities to tell me. I mean, last night, I showed him the portrait. I even pointed out what an amazing family resemblance there was. 
All he said is he wanted to buy it for Diane. So he didn't out and out lie. He didn't have to. He is a lawyer, a good one. He has been cherry picking what information to tell me and redirecting our conversation so he does not have to tell the truth. You know, I really thought he was opening up to me. He told me he was stuck in his routines and he was scared of change. Same suit, same lunch. He said he was doing it all for Dash. He's really just doing it to protect himself. Do you know what happened with Dash's mom? I didn't know she existed until last night. Will told me he'd never thought he would find someone who was right for him. But he meant someone who would live up to her. He had lost confidence that he could be happy again. Yes, but I trusted him to be as open as I was. I don't think he meant to hurt you. He's not ready to move on. And I think he's known that all along. Not being honest about Dash proves it. What can I do to help? Open the brownies. Okay. And um, you can come with me to deliver the portrait. His assistant texted me a time and voice. Of course. If you see him there, is there really nothing to talk about? No, no. I should have trusted my instincts when I first met him. He's just not the match for me. Come on. Okay. Well, it looks like you got the best table there, buddy. You're seated next to Uncle Mike. Great. Get to spend the evening talking about fly fishing. You didn't want a plus one. You should be happy. You didn't want a plus one, and now you haven't got one. Not even Ellen. Ellen was never a plus one for this party. She could have been. Dash, I think Ellen's great. And I really liked her. Mostly because she liked you. But it turns out I was wrong, and she doesn't like me. She does. Girls don't invite boys to dinner for a reason. She doesn't like that you lied about me. I know. I know. And nobody would like being lied to about that. So why did you do it? Oh. Uh, because I was scared. Of what? Getting hurt. Of you getting hurt. So I accidentally ended up hurting her. I didn't mean to do it, but I did. And it's all on me. Then you do apologize. I really don't think saying sorry is going to be enough. Yes, it will. If you get her a present, too. You really like Ellen, huh? Yes, and so do you. Want to make a plan? Ah, uh, OK. What do you got? Just go to her house with a cool present that only you would know she likes. Then she'll see you notice her and like her. OK. Well, hey, actually. You know, Ellen's gonna be here in about an hour to drop off Diane's anniversary gift. Even better! You just need to bump into her, especially in that suit. You look great. Dash, this may not work. I know, you just promised me I'll try. Yeah, I promise. Are you sure you don't want me to drop it off on my own? I promised. Did you? I know what you're doing. Just let me have my moment of might have been, and then I will take you out to dinner. Deal. Just not pizza. Dad's gone to fix something. Was it his suit? Did he split his pants? No, but it's super important. Better be very important. Miss greeting the guests. It is. Promise. Hi. Hi. Your gift from Will. Oh, Dylan. wow. Uh, the table's over there. Uh, thank I you. I hope you like it. We have to make her wait until Dad gets back. It's a part of our plan. Plan? What's going on, Dash? Hello, Ellen. Hi. Diane's gift from Will. Oh, terrible gifts. Well, it's much too big for the gift table. 
Um, we should get William for you. We'll be right back. Oh, no, no. Um, I can leave it with you. Are you sure you can't stay? Have a glass of champagne with me. That's a really sweet dash, but I don't think you're allowed champagne, and I'm not really dressed for a party. Oh. Doesn't matter what you're wearing. Um, have a glass of champagne with me. Thank you. But I think we should go. You guys have a really nice evening. Did you get it? Yes. Has she gone yet? That way. Whatever is going on, William? Sure you don't want to hang around? No. Let's just go. Ellen. Okay, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but please take this. What for? It's an apology. You'll like it. How would you know? You don't seem to know me at all. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't give up. I, um... Don't have a plan for this? I did. Just not beyond this point. Wait, okay, you're right, you're right. You're right, I'm a routine guy, okay? I, I'm scared of broadening my horizons and, and way more comfortable with telling a lie, a really big, unforgivable lie than I am with following my emotions, you're right. Ellen, I wasn't looking to find anyone. I wasn't meant to fall in love, but I did. With you. On our date, we weren't even close to a match. 100% wrong. Eternity's first fail. If they had been real. Then we were just working together to find eternity. We didn't plan to spend that time together. And Ellen and I had no idea how long that search was going to last. So I withheld the truth about being a father. Because it never even crossed my mind that you'd become someone to me. Someone perfect. But why didn't you trust me with it when you knew? It wasn't that I didn't trust you. It was that I didn't trust myself. I didn't want to open up to all my past emotions and hurt. And I made a promise to Dash that he would never have to go through that again. My ex-wife, she left both of us. I'm really sorry to hear that. I knew that I was taking a risk when I started falling for you. And I tried to protect my old feelings, I did. And I made a mistake, a really big mistake. But I'm sorry. I will never break your trust again. I promise, Oh. <sighs> Things don't have to follow a repeated pattern. Nothing's limited by what's happened before. Give her the gift, Dad? <sighs> Your mom said you were terrible at gifts. Take a risk. Will you dance with me? I can't dance. I know. Neither can I. Dress, it really matches. My eyes? <laughs> How about that dance? You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. 
Left foot first? Just let me lead. Not a chance. <laughs> you want to try something risky? Ooh, ooh. If I move my hips a little bit more, it looks better, no? Oh, you convinced me. <laughs> So we weren't conned. They knew before we even met. Do you know what this means? Their 100% success rating still stands. Does that mean you think I'm the one? Ellen, I know that you're the one. I have seen my share of hurt and 